Navy host number two Cincinnati at noon on Saturday at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. The second ranked Bearcats are the first Associated Press top five team Navy's faced since 1984. I mean, you live for these kind of opportunities. Uh, not very often that you, you know, have the second ranked team in the country that you get to play that team and then they, they're coming to your place. Uh, we recognize you know, how good a football team this is coming to our place. We have a healthy amount of respect for them. Uh, but we also feel like we can go win this football game. It's huge having the number two team coming to our house, especially uh, in our season, getting a, getting a chance to get a shot at them. In a lot of sense, Navy's always an underdog. It's not like we're in a place that we haven't been before. You know, it's just up to us to go out there and have faith in each other and love each other enough to, to play our best football. And then at the end of the day, we should be happy with the scoreboard. These kids are smart. They're reading it everywhere. They recognize that we have this great opportunity. But you want to see the moment, too. You know, you don't want to just come as a spectator and a fan or come enjoy it. You want to have an opportunity to win. And it starts with our preparation. So that's really been our focus, just preparation. Can't get too far wrapped in, number like the numbers, number two. It's just, we're here to play ball. Um, it's going to take blood, sweat, and tears uh, on on our side, offensive side. Uh, everybody knows their job. and. We had, we're going to have to play a perfect ball game if we're going to win this game. Navy won both games with a noon kickoff time last year. Head coach Kendi Amatololo told me earlier in the week that he thinks the lifestyle at the Naval Academy prepares the mids well for these early start times. You can watch the game on ESPN2 and listen on the Navy Radio Network. Thanks for watching. I'm Phil Bergman.